to do 100,000 a day, maybe a capacity of 150,000 a day, we've filled in every square foot of this, of this building. How do you continue to grow in sort of how many people you're not necessarily diagnostic testing, but surveilling? In this case, if we're pooling, we're saying, how do we continue to apply those principles of frequent testing to a population and return meaningful enough results so they can manage their own communities? By doing pooling of 10 swabs in one tube, getting a result, returning whether that pool is positive or not. If it's negative, all the individuals in that pool are presumptively negative and can go about their sort of normal schedules. If that pool is positive, it's presumed that at least somebody in that pool is positive, and that forces sort of like a reflex test, which is individually testing everybody in that pool and sort of narrowing down further who is it that's positive. The testing that we've developed here, and then now it's starting to sort of grow, is just an anterior nasal swab collected dry, so it's not put into a buffer. It's just the front of your nose, it's just a Q-tip, you know, barely inserted into your nose, swirled around four times. We do it every single day here for ourselves. It's completely non-invasive and it's super fast and easy. For us to be able to screen a quarter million students a week, maybe a half a million students a week, pooling's really the only way we can do it with the system that we have. This only works when the rate of infection is really, really low. If you're at 1% positivity rate in a, in a population, if you're sampling 100 students, that's 10 tubes. If one of them's positive, you tease that apart and you find the positive. But what if there's a 5% positive rate? All of a sudden, probably four or five of those tubes are gonna be positive or some number greater than one. And now you're gonna have to tease those apart. Eventually you get to a point where you now have to tease apart so many pools that it negates the effort to begin with. And it allows you to have a lot of people coming into a workplace and actually feel confident in it and know that you have the things in place to be able to keep transmission or infection extremely low. A full semester of demonstrating that builds a case for expanding that into, whether it's other schools, other companies, other workplaces, and obviously like public schools. I mean, that's like the number one at this point.